Did you know that 500,000 men from outside of Germany served in the SS during World War II? Initially, the SS had extremely strict rules regarding the joining of the force, but as the war progressed and Germany's need for manpower increased, these rules slowly slipped away, and in 1940, Hitler authorised the enlistment of people perceived to be of related stock to expand the ranks. A number of Danes, Dutch, Norwegians, Swedes and Finns volunteered to serve in the SS under the command of German officers. After Germany invaded the Soviet Union during Operation Barbarossa, recruits from France, Spain, Belgium, the territory of Czechoslovakia, Hungary and the Balkans were signed on. By February 1942, Waffen-SS recruitment in South East Europe turned into compulsory conscription for all German minorities of military age, and from 1942 onwards further units of non-Germanic recruits were formed. Legions were formed of men from Estonia, Latvia, Bosnia, Croatia, Georgia, Ukraine, Russia and the Cossacks. This included around 4,500 Indian volunteers who were anti-British Empire. However, by 1943, the Waffen-SS could no longer claim overall to be an elite fighting force. Recruitment and conscription, based on numerical over quality expansion, took place, with many of the foreign units being good for only rear guard duties. Despite manpower shortages, the Waffen-SS was still based on the racist ideology of Nazism. Thereby, ethnic Poles were specifically regarded as second-class people, and the Poles were the only ethnic group from whom neither voluntary SS units nor uniformed auxiliary police were ever created. Before the war's end, the foreigners who served in the SS numbered some 500,000, including those that were pressured into service or conscripted. Some would say ironically, but some of the last German units fighting around Hitler's bunker complex in May 1945 weren't actually German. They were members of the Grenadier Brigade of the SS Charlemagne, a unit made up of French volunteers. Also there were Spanish, Latvians and the SS Nordland Division. Many of these men were seen as traitors after the war by their home nations and tried as such. Many were executed or jailed for their part in Hitler's war machine. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please do like and subscribe for more content. If you're a fan of podcasts, just search for a few minutes of history wherever you get your podcasting fix. Give us a like and subscribe over there as well. I interview historians, authors and other such historical likes. Plenty more content to come out on there as well. Thank you for listening and we'll see you on the next one.